Okay, so following on from my video yesterday of the firmware update, I'm doing a test run. And first off is the GPS test. Some people have said that it locks onto satellites quicker. Now, let's bear in mind that the location of where you're flying it has a lot to do with how quick you're gonna lock on and the weather conditions. So here, uh, it's taken me one minute uh, from the time I've turned it on to the time that I get a GPS fix. What I will say uh, first off is that the GPS fix uh, is a lot better. Um, same location, I did this a week or so ago and I was only getting three uh, lights blinking. Um, and here, uh, I got five, I think, uh, or it started to get five by the end so uh, GPS fix um, seems to be better. Um, hopefully, as well, the lock will the lock to the GPS will be quicker over time, depending on the location. Okay, so. A little one, a little test, uh, motor start up. Quite a simple test. Um, all motors weren't starting at the same time. However, uh, as you can see from the video, give it a bit of power and they all start up fine and all together in unison. So flying in GPS mode, um, obviously with GPS fix, uh, you'll have a, hopefully a better satellite fix. Have I noticed much change? It, it's difficult to say, because you've had to recalibrate the compass, um, it does take a couple of flights to sort out um, the balance of the scalp, but uh, hopefully, um, I, I, I felt that it, it moves better. Um, I sense there's a, there's a slight difference in controls for the good. Um, it feels a bit smoother um, to fly, um, and overall, um, I didn't have any issues at all. Not that I've had really any issues anyway, but certainly there doesn't appear to really be any issues to come from this. So that's really the only noticeable difference is that uh, I can really tell at this stage. Um, and hopefully uh, with more flying, I'll be able to get a better idea. Um, certainly when you put it into the air um, and, and release the sticks, it, it hovers uh, or it seems to hover better. Um, and certainly when it comes to keeping the throttle in a set position, it, it, would, it keeps its height relatively steady, it doesn't fluctuate. As I found out last week or so before the firmware, you know, you could leap it in, keep the stick in one place, and for some unknown reason it was up and down, um, but it was remaining relatively stable. Um, so, yeah, just enjoy um, this short little video, and, and thanks for watching. Uh, I've We'll try and uh, get some more videos done, uh, hopefully within the next week or so, uh, see if there's any more feedback from the latest firmware update. But certainly, uh, it's all looking good. It's all looking good. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe and rate my videos. And I'll see you again soon.